Located in Southern California, the Temecula United Methodist Church answers the call to end spiritual and physical hunger starting at 10 a.m. on Sunday. Good morning. Good morning. It's great. It is good for us to be gathered together as God's people, as the family of Christ. I welcome each and every one of you. As we gather together, whether here in person and those that will be watching at, at home later this morning, uh, we gather to uh, do all that we can in ending uh, spiritual and physical hunger. So it is a place for us to be fed by Christ through the Holy Spirit, uh, through the Word, through the Scriptures, and through the music. So I am so happy that you are here this morning, and I welcome each and, and every one of you. During the week, numerous groups meet and continue the mission of ending spiritual and physical hunger. Hello, everybody. Hi. Let's form a circle and do our little prayer. Prayers and Squares has completed an average of one quilt per week since 2016. Once blessed on Sunday, the entire congregation helps to tie the final knots before being sent out all over the world. But they feel our love. They feel the prayers of the people who tie the knots and all the love and joy in this church. And they are enfolded in that love and they're lifted and healed. And we just give thanks for the opportunity to serve in this way. And so we just seal this in the name of Christ. Amen. Amen. We come together twice a month and we sew here and some of us also sew at home or come in other times. We have a lot of camaraderie, the old quilting bee kind of energy where we love each other and share our life stories together and we bless the quilts. I think it's part of feeding spiritual hunger for people. The one that went out last Sunday, the recipient emailed me yesterday and said, I'm sleeping under it and I put it on me during the day and I just marvel at it and it makes me feel so good. And that makes us feel good that this work that we do um, makes such a difference. Another group that meets outside of Sunday mornings is the youth. During regular gatherings, they will enjoy games, create friendships, enjoy devotionals, and plan multiple outreach and service opportunities that take place throughout the year, like the pancake breakfast. It makes me feel happy that I did something good. Like, it made me feel a lot better about myself. Okay. What about you, Kylie? Uh, it makes me feel like I'm helping someone that I don't know, so it's putting others before me. Put others before you. See, that's a good one, if you guys are listening. Kelly says helping other people is good because if it's someone you don't know, you're helping someone, you're putting someone else before your own needs, right? But yeah. Here they discuss ending spiritual and physical hunger through the importance of selfless service. Through the year, the youth will participate in Sunday worship, host and assist in countless events at the church, and will embark on their annual service trip, such as Sierra Service Project, outside of the community. For over 30 years, Rancho Damasita's Children and Family Services has worked to lift mothers and young children out of dire circumstances, such as homelessness, underemployment, and physical harm. Throughout the two-year program, Thursdays are a day for classes for the mother that begin with a communal meal with staff. Two groups from the Temecula United Methodist Church, the Tuesday Ladies Bible Study, and United Women in Faith have committed to ending physical hunger by providing food for this meal once a month. The most special parts of this night for everybody is that it starts with a shared meal because that's the time of that intentional community that we're, that we're trying to develop because we really do believe that transformation happens in community and so that's why it means so much to us to have you guys come to have the ladies fellowship bible study group from tumc come and bring these meals for us because it makes that time of intentional community happen for us it's so heartwarming for us um, we've been supporting this 
this for many, many years. And uh, every time you come, you just, unfortunately, we don't get to see these little kiddos, you know, tonight when we bring the food, but we know they're being well fed, and that the moms are getting a little respite sometimes mm -hmm. too. And uh, we have uh, a couple, two or three, well, maybe a little longer than that ago, we actually uh, renovated one of the rooms here. Uh, it was like a, a graveyard for old computers and, and printers and all kinds of stuff. So we came out here and we cleaned the room out and uh, painted it. The, the men helped us, uh, Bert helped along with it. So, um, and now it's a beautiful little room for, what do you use it for? Like, a, it's not a nursery. It's but a nursery to about one and a half year old. Yeah. So, like, for watching the little kids while the moms are in class or yeah. stuff like that. So, this is just an amazing, amazing um, place for us to come. I mean, it, 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 it fills our hearts yeah. a lot just being here. Don't you think, yes, Heather? Yes. One member of Tuesday Ladies Bible Study has felt the call to take her commitment to end physical and spiritual hunger all the way to seminary. Uh, my name's Maria Longley, and I'm a candidate for deacon here in the California Pacific Conference. Um, I felt the call to ministry about a year ago, a little over a year ago. I had the seminary bug for a while, um, was very curious about seminary, but didn't really have a purpose to it. Um, and what I realized was my love of the church, which I've had the privilege of working in before, and my love of the nonprofit sector where I work now, came together in this beautiful call where I realized the role of a deacon um, embodies both of those worlds, the church and the nonprofit sector. And deacons can do a, a ton of different things, but I'm really excited to live out the call that we have as deacons for uh, word, service, compassion, and justice and um, be that bridge between the congregation and the world. John 6.37 says, Anyone who comes to me, I will never drive away. Temecula UMC is a place where everyone can find welcome, support, comfort, and strength. Through the commitment to end spiritual and physical hunger from Sunday morning worship to a host of groups that meet throughout each month, the faith of the congregation can be felt in their hearts, in the community, and across the globe.